Deborah. We understand that you're a student who's enjoyed the benefits of Warnborough at uh, its Boars Hill campus, uh, a summer program in Russia, and a semester abroad in Australia. Would you be happy to uh, tell us how that has enriched your experience of learning? Sure. So I did Australia first, and then when I was in Australia, I found out about the Oxford campus and that I could go there. So I did a full year with Warnborough. And while I was in England, in Oxford, I did the spring break in Russia. So I did all three of those programs. I have to say it was the absolute best time of my life. I grew as much of, as, as a person as I had in the previous probably 19 years. I think I was 20 when I got there. And uh, I was able to experience so many different cultures and travel to so many places in just one year that it was unbelievable. So with Australia, I learned a lot about Australian history, but I was able to spend time at two different campuses in Sydney and in Brisbane. I was also able to travel a break in between for two weeks. I had a bus pass and was able to travel around the country as far as Ayers Rock and up to Darwin. And then when I got to England, I was able to spend time in London. It was a short bus or train ride away uh, and go to the fabulous museums and the theater, but then also experience Oxford and the Oxford professors. And then in Russia as well, I was able to go to uh, what's now St. Petersburg and Moscow uh, and meet Russian students um, and have tours of both of those cities. It, it just incredibly enriched my life. The whole experience, the entire year uh, being in Australia and in England through the same program, but in such totally different places uh, in Australia, we were, it was a lot more free, and there were different campuses, met so many people from around the world. And in England, it was more of a regimented um, college setting because we had tutors and we were in one place for the whole semester. So I really just experienced some very wonderful people. Uh, the academics were excellent in both places and very different as well. I was able to take courses on Australia when I was there, but then when in England I became an English major in college, I was able to take some of my English classes. And obviously there's no better place to take English than in, than in England. Yes, indeed. And as well as the academic experience, uh, possibly there was a, uh, an outcome of enduring friendships which continue to be uh, much appreciated in the subsequent years. Is that not so? Absolutely. Uh, so we just had a reunion in the District of Columbia and I, since I live here it was easy for me. Uh, I had I think six people from the program come for the reunion and for the lunch as well as people from the school but for the time that I was in Australia uh, I just formed these friendships that picked right up 32 years later and I still just feel so wonderfully about all of the people I traveled with. I don't know how many classes there were who went to Australia but as a group we were very cohesive, very close and we've all kept in touch. There are very, very few people I don't see or talk to on a regular basis from that group. Uh, so the friendships there were just invaluable and they continue on. Uh, we actually after the weekend was over, we already planned our 35th reunion, which we're hoping to do somewhere in the Midwest, and everybody's very excited about that. As a, con as a consequence, Deborah, um, then we're sure that you might also encourage other uh, students who have had connection with Warmbra uh, to, uh, to uh, see themselves very much as alumni, and also you might well encourage them to meet with other members of their semester or study abroad groups? I hope so, yes, absolutely, and I hope some of the people who couldn't make it this time around will consider joining us in the future. I know we've had a couple get-togethers over the years, smaller sizes and bigger sizes, and um, I hope that everybody will continue to meet with us, uh, and especially if we can meet with other people from Warnborough as well, people from the board and people from the school in England. And Warnborough really encourages uh, former students to assist Warmbra in its outreach to students who are connected with Warmbra uh, at this time. It's a uh, hope that also Warmbra can do that even better through the support of a recently 
established Warmbra Foundation, which can provide scholarships and connections with other fundraising entities for students who might not otherwise be able to enjoy the Warmbra experience. Uh, would I be right in thinking that you fully endorse that uh, that particular strategy? Oh, absolutely. Um, I think even my, my undergrad college, Simmons, they've now turned into university and they're expanding their programs as well. And I, the further out you can go, the better it is for people to be able to experience the distance learning. Um, and I really am hoping to be able to get to the Canterbury campus, obviously, because I haven't been there yet. Well, thank you, Deborah, for your encouraging words, your recollections about your times of studying with Warnborough in England, in Australia, the opportunity for the summer program in Russia, and also your ongoing support and loyalty to the college as one of the college's alumni. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you.